Comment backwards book tropes. For example, lovers to enemies. Lovers to enemies is so much better than enemies to lovers, to be honest. Lovers to enemies is just called divorce. Lovers to enemies, didn't that happen in Sky High? The protagonist is on a quest searching for the guy who saved their parents' lives so they can repay the favor. Completely in love with your worst enemy's ugly brother? A murderer raises out of a very loving and non-traumatic household. Hate triangle. The magical fantasy land says, nah, we good, and kicks you out into the real world. For the holiday season, hot guy from a small town who loves Christmas has to go to the big city, where he meets an uptight rich girl who teaches him that Christmas and everything about it are all sentimental trash and he should focus on business and money. Vampire, but the significant other changes them back to being a human. A really, really sweet guy who only hates you. Comfort hurt? Like, it starts off as legitimately soothing and helpful, but it just slowly turns overbearing or grating. Or the manipulative trick of being kind and loving until they aren't. Comfort hurt. I feel like Mother Gothel does both. Fake enemies. You're in a relationship, but you have to pretend to hate each other. They pretend to be arch nemesises and actually start hating each other. Arranged marriage, where they met before the wedding and just say, nah, and then go home. Arranged marriage, but they're arranging for their parents to marry each other. Horrible dude finds a nice lady and drags her down to his level. The anti-Sue, a character whose life is a black hole. They aren't interesting, they aren't remarkable, they aren't good at anything in particular, and anything interesting that could potentially happen to them just doesn't. They don't avoid plot, the plot avoids them. You're the unchosen one. Everyone is tasked to save the world except you. You bring your actual spouse to an office party and no one believes you're together, and the experience affects y'all so much you split up. The attractive girl developed a crush on the nerd and the nerdy boy is too busy to notice. I take off my glasses and try to fix my hair, only for my partner to be unnerved. They tell me that I look really uncomfortable like that and they are endeared to my natural looks, actually. There's no need for a two hour makeover. Lost family. A bunch of people you considered like family start doing mean stuff, so now they're dead to you. Found family? No, found enemies. You gradually hate your group more the further you get in the adventure mission. A sweet, wholesome, quirky girl meets a brooding, cynical man who teaches her to resist life's adventures and always look on the dark side. Murder mystery? Nah, birth mystery. Bury your straits. Revive your gaze. No gay character ever stays dead. They're always resurrected somehow, even if resurrection has never been brought up on the setting. Retirement home AU? I don't know, it's the closest thing to opposite of college AU I could think of. I'm just like all the other girls. Too many beds. Mafia boss AU? But the reader kidnaps the mafia boss. One Direction can't afford their bills, so they sell Harry Styles to you. Apparently there's some really messed up One Direction fanfic that I had no idea was a thing. My idiot self was like, backwards story tropes? Story tropes.